prayers. But in the evening hours, I was told the town is going to be flooded. European calendar. And the Eritreans are among. Yes guys, we're back with another amazing video and today I want to take you through Bunga town, an amazing town with a different vibe. Yes, we've been, yes, I, I, I took you through Chisengi town, Kabalagala, where most of the Habashes, or the Eritreans, Ethiopians, and Somalis are uh, most. But I was surprised by this town when I discovered that in this town could be more of them than Chisenyi and Kabalagala. So I, w I want to take you through. Yes, and we explore this side also. It is, uh, it is uh, an upcoming rich neighborhood. And as you see, the town looks really, really developing. So, right where we are is called the Soya. Yeah, this small town is called the Soya. And the main town of Bunga is in front. And that is where that he brought us today yeah so i want you to come with me guys and we explore bunga town i want to tell you guys there was a time i came here and the main reason that brought me to vlog this town is I failed to get Uganda I mean Ugandan food. <laughs> Can you imagine? In this town found in Bunga uh, just like it's like uh, eight to nine kilometers from Kampala I failed to get Ugandan food. Everywhere I was looking it was only harbors and as as you see in inside there it is only, only harbors. So most of these, uh, most of these shops you see here are owned by them. Yeah, and it is very, very difficult to find a Ugandan owning a shop on these streets. That town you see up on a hill is called the Konge Town, Konge Hill. And I will take you there also. That is Konge. On our right, where we are from, is Kansanga. And the next town after Bunga is Gaba Town. So today we are exploring Bunga, a town I found could be harboring more of the habashes I told you where we are is called the Soya but under Bunga town within Bunga town
some constructions going on here. Yeah, you can see even the names. Yeah, as I was telling you guys, when I come through my the comments after vlogging these areas where Somalis, Eritreans and Ethiopians live in Uganda, I see negative comments. But I'm I'm not doing this because I want to expose I, I want to expose you in any kind of way no I do this uh, with an intention to to show people that are not around here that of course here we have many different races which come and live in harmony around here and of course that you are welcome at all times yeah and i've i've noticed that uganda is that is one of those welcoming countries where you can come and live freely uh you know bunga town kansanga town daba town which is on the shores of lake victoria those are all towns of luxury yeah this is where people come and enjoy money so it is a sandy and it collided with a i mean it collided with the easter 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 day the ethiopians and Eritreans who are following Who are following the Ethiopian calendar are celebrating Easter Day today. Collided with an Easter Day that Eritreans and uh, Ethiopians are celebrating. Yeah, as I told you, these people don't follow the, most of them don't follow the Gregorian Western calendar that we follow. They do follow Ethiopian calendar. And that makes today their Easter day. It is a public holiday. When you look around, all of these shops, as I told you, this town is just almost it is owned by Eritreans and Ethiopians. And since today they are celebrating that day, most of them didn't work. And that's why you see almost all the shops are closed around here. Yeah, so we are getting, we are getting to their church. And I was told that is where most of them are. They will be filling up the streets of Bonga town after prayers. So let me take you to their church. Yeah. Yes, as when you look around, of course, you see all the shops are closed. You see the naming of the, you see the naming around is in their dialect. Yeah. It's in their dialect, which they do share, the Ethiopians and the Eritreans. Yeah, so let's climb up to their church and see what we can find out. So that road is Charles H. Stock Road. Yes, we are going to head on with Magdalene Road. This is a rich town here. 
Yeah. It is some rich neighborhood. It's just a few hours ago, it showed as if it wanted to rain, but thanks God. But thank to, thanks, but thank God. Making this town look good. Everywhere I'm looking, it is only Ethiopians and Eritreans moving around. Yes, as you know, they love much to isolate because, yeah, they feel more comfortable when they are in their environment alone and they love to be in their environment alone, but still, Yes, right now I'm looking at the Eritrean church. Uh, someone told me they are celebrating their Easter. Because as you know, they don't follow our calendar. Uh, this is Magdalene Road, Magdalene Nanjala Road. And it is the road that gets you to their church, which is right here. Yeah, this is Magdalene Road. All these places here are occupied by Eritreans, mostly Ethiopians and Somalis. Just like you saw behind there, the naming here is also theirs. Yeah. Wow, this is incredible. And today, they are celebrating their Easter day. As you see the writings, as I've been showing you, they are written in their native language called Tigrinya. Yeah, it's called Tigrinya, and that is their that is a G's script of the Eritreans and Ethiopians, basically. And as I told you today, they are celebrating their Easter just because they are following the Ethiopian calendar. Yeah, which was, I mean, uh. That was got into the Julian calendar, opposing the Western Gregorian calendar that we follow. So, being that they are following that calendar, makes today their Easter day. And they are celebrating their day today. Yeah, when you look around, there are not too many. It is just because they are inside their churches.
Yeah, that is Gava Beach Hotel. Oh, this is Gaba Market. It is a Sunday, but it is full as you see it because we are, it is just on the shores of Lake Victoria. So there are many, many. There are many activities going on. Many people have come for fishing. There is a landing site. It's just it's cool. Being a Sunday, a weekend, this place is for leisure and it normally works on weekends, but all the shops you see around are closed just because the owners are out celebrating. They didn't come today. There is a launch I entered just near uh, a university it is International University for Africa which is right here in Kansanga and the place is uh, occupied with Sudanese and Habashes yeah as you see right here I told you the naming is Habash Yeah, right now we are in Kansanga town. And as you see right here, most of the entertainment held in most of the venues is on 5th of May, which is today. The day Habashes are celebrating their Easter. And as you see most of the signposts here, most of the posters, it is English and Tigrinya language for Eritreans and Ethiopians. Yeah. As I told you, it is a Sunday and this uh, at this place most of uh, most of the malls, the plazas around, it is only bars and places for leisure and luxury. But they are closed. And remember it is a Sunday that and remember it is a Sunday that this uh, this bus works the most but everywhere you look they are closed just because it, they are owned by Habashes and they are not uh, around today as they are celebrating their Easter uh, that is Makutano Bar and Grill, found here in Kansanga town. Yeah, there it is. That is Makutano. Uh, I don't know. I think even I think even these people. Uh, I mean, there are some Ugandan people who had to to put the names on the posters in Tigrinya language just to attract 
to the Habash customers. That is what I thought because almost all the shops around here, all the signposts here, there has to be an English name and the Tigrinya language name. So this is La Moba, La Moba. And here is Galaxy FM. Yeah, here is Galaxy FM. For those that didn't know, it is here in Kansanga. At home there, we always fight for a remote. There is someone who always wants to watch Galaxy. TV and not any other station. So that is Galaxy FM. 